Welcome to my store. Okay. So, what we got here today is uh, we noticed that there was water running down this side here. So we're going to show you how to find it first. Just take a piece of toilet paper and you run your finger down the seam and you kind of wiggle things. Okay. Now, it's hard to see water on a seam like that, but when you put it on a paper towel or uh, toilet paper, you can see it real easy. Okay, so we got a leak here. This is my refugium, as you guys know. So, we don't want to drain it. So I put the water level down to below where the leak is. And now what I'm going to do is fix it. Hopefully that glare is not too bad. Okay. So, somewhere we got a razor blade here. Okay, I'm not sure where. Okay. back upstairs and look for the razor blade. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back and I got me a razor blade. Okay, so we're going to shave the uh, corner and you want to get it. all the silicon, all the coralline, everything out of the way. New silicon will not stick to old silicon. Now, I got to do a job tomorrow. And I don't know if he wants clear or black silicon. And I got two tubes of black and one tube of clear in the store. So even though the rest of this tank is done in clear, we're going to do the patch of black. Can't see through the patch anyhow. So it doesn't make a lot of difference. Now, you got to make sure you clean out the corner good. So, I got some newspaper and some alcohol. Dollar store alcohol. Gotta love it. And drink it, but there's a dollar store every corner almost. Try not to get it in the water. It's not fatal if you do, because the dilution factor and stuff. But you don't want to do it. Okay. So then you got to decide which way are you putting a piece of glass. A piece of glass either goes this way or this way. And I'll put it this way, just because. No real reason, doesn't make a lot of difference. Okay, so we're going to clean this all up. Make sure whenever you're doing this, you get all traces of uh, dirt and salt and water and oil and what have you off of it. So, we're now going to have a post on this corner because and this piece is... Ouch! Okay. Alright. I thought I cut my finger off, but uh, when you're rubbing glass, probably a good idea not to run your finger along the edge. That pretty much hurt right away. But at least, I only... You can see the skin, but it's not really bad. Okay. So here's your end block. I don't know. I have a stick to shove this stuff out. I'll show you end pen. See, when the silicon dries inside it, you just stick your pen in. That won't fit. The wire thing in. Shove the old plug in. And then 
take that. Okay. So we don't have much silicon left in this tube, but let's see if we can get some of it in here. So we put a nice thick bead on. In my life, everything rusts. Now we've explained that's why the boy's hair. Yeah, people were wondering why he got a haircut. It wasn't his choice. No, Shauna wanted him to cut his hair, but we told Shauna we didn't like her much then, and so she stopped talking nonsense like that. But uh, in Canada, we got an amusement park called Canada's Wonderland. It's kind of like Disneyland uh, type of a place. But one of the conditions of my boy's employment there is he's got to look respectable. So he has to take out his piercings, and he has to uh, cut his hair. So got a job there again this summer. He was there last October. And apparently he did really good at encouraging kids. They like to play the game that he was in the booth for. So uh, that and they need bodies because, well, it's only open during the summer so it's hard to find anybody other than kids that will work those hours. Okay, so you take the piece of glass and you hold it like that on an angle and you shove all the silicon towards that side. Okay. By doing this, okay. by doing this, you get a nice thick wad of silicon. It takes up that whole space. And then you just fill in the bead. And if you get silicon in your eye, it hurts like anything, so don't rub your eye. If you got silicon all over your fingers, use your shirt. You get sweat in your eyes, pain too. Okay, so that's how you silicon the glass in the corner of a fish tank. And then you shove it in more. Now, the stuff on the bottom there, we do realize it's really close to the water. And we do realize we're not trying to get a nice pretty bead there. But we also do realize it's okay. We don't care. So, that's how you silicon the corner of a fish tank with the fish in it. So then tomorrow... Well, it won't be tomorrow. It'll be actually an hour and a half from now because that's how long I got left to stay here. I will turn this on. Silicon will dry underwater. It uses oxygen to cure, so underwater it dries a lot slower. But it will dry. And it's non toxic to the uh, water and the fishies and everything. Okay. I think I'll shave the edges, I don't think I want to be... See, when silicon is wet, it's real easy to work with. Except it is messy. I remember when I first silicon a fish tank, I made a horrendous mess. But, eh, after a while you learn. Okay, so that's that video, and uh... Bye.